Rob from Buckeyes Battle Cry here. This upcoming weekend, you have the number one team in the country, the Oregon Ducks, traveling to Ann Arbor for a showdown with the Michigan Wolverines in the big house. I'm going to try to be as nice about this as possible. Wait, no I'm not because Ohio State fans absolutely have nothing nice to say about the Michigan Wolverines. This game is not going to be close at all. I would say that this game will be over by the end of the first quarter, but because Michigan has a pretty stout defense, I'm going to say it's going to be over by halftime. And this could end up being worse than the Texas game. Oregon could win by 35, 40 points. I know for a fact that Dan Lanning is going to have his team laser-focused and not let it get in their heads that they're the number one team in the country. He's going to remind his team who they're playing, and Michigan is going to have the target on their back of we're the defending national champions. Dan Lanning is going to emphasize that and make sure that and remind them that they have a job to do and that they're the number one team in the country for a reason. But again, this game is not going to be close. Why? Michigan's offense, 124th ranked total offense, 303 yards per game. The rush offense, 52nd in the country with uh, 172.6 yards per game. Passing offense, absolutely atrocious. I'm pretty sure there's 135 teams in all of college football. They are ranked 129th in the country with 103.5 passing yards per game. With that type of offense, Oregon is going to turn them one-dimensional. All right, Their total defense is 12th ranked in the country. Uh, their pass defense is... Is 16th in the country. They're gonna. They're not even gonna worry about about Michigan's pass offense. They're gonna anticipate for the run. No runs for Orgy. No runs for Mullings. This is not even gonna be close. Michigan's offense is terrible. There's gonna be a lot of sad, sad Michigan fans. All right, and don't don't even get me started with. Well, Warren, he really turned around against Michigan State. No, you guys, don't get don't get it twisted. Don't go ahead and say, oh, Michigan's back on track, hang another banner. That's not what it is. What it is that two average team pl teams played for bowl eligibility and someone had to win. Michigan State is an average team. The last time Michigan played a team that was the talent of Oregon is Texas. We all know what happened in that game. Barely scored any points. Michigan's offense sucks. It does. There's no way around it. They're not going to be able to keep up with Oregon's high-powered offense. So, Oregon's high-powered offense, 11th in the country with 467.1 yards per game. Michigan is in trouble with that. Michigan's Passing defense is 86 in the country, giving up 228.5 yards per game. They are going to get ran out of that stadium. Dylan Gabriel is a baller. I'm going to, you know what, I, I'm going to remind you of what he did, did to Ohio State, who had a lot higher passing defense than the Michigan Wolverines. So, versus OSU, who was 23 for 34, 341 yards. Two TDs. Wait, no, I, I think he had three or four TDs, maybe even five. His QBR was 96%. And you know what? Don't even say, well, Michigan has an elite defensive line. Yeah, they're top 25 in team sacks with 21 sacks on the season, 2.62 per game. But Oregon's offensive line has only given up three sacks all season. It's going to be a long day for the Michigan Wolverines. Fans need to settle in, take this blowout, take this L, and keep on realizing you're not elite. All right? You, I don't, don't want to hear about the Michigan State game. Two average, two average teams playing for bowl eligibility. Heck, Michigan coaches were playing to keep their jobs. Because let's be honest, 
if Michigan would have lost to Michigan State, Sharon Moore and the whole entire staff, they would not be coming back. So Michigan State, that game cannot be the eye test at all. All right. Again, this is not going to be close at all. My final score prediction is 45 to 14. And maybe one of those touchdowns will come in garbage time. So I have absolutely no respect for the Michigan Wolverines in this game at all. Good luck.